Buongiorno and welcome. In this video, we have something truly special for you. We recently had the incredible opportunity to embark on a three day preview cruise aboard the magnificent Regent Seven Seas Grandeur. And let me tell you, it was an experience like no other. Is this the ultimate luxury cruise ship? We think it could well be. So buckle up, relax and join us as we take you on a virtual journey through the lap of luxury. Our adventure began when we arrived in Ancona, Italy and joined the Seven Seas Grandeur fresh from the shipyard. Being a preview cruise, the finishing touches were still being applied and there were a surprising number of team members from the shipyard still working to meet deadlines before paying passengers were due to board. As we stepped aboard Regent Seven Seas Grandeur, the elegance and opulence of this luxurious ship were evident. In this video, we'll explore the stunning public spaces from the grand atrium to the restaurants, the entertainment venues, and then take a sneak peek at our concierge suite. First impressions are everything, and Regent Seven Seas Grandeur certainly knows how to make a good one. Hopefully this short video will provide you with a snapshot of everything this wonderful ship has to offer. On deck four, you can't help but admire the stunning grand staircase in the atrium with its enormous crystal chandelier and some of the multi-million dollar art collection on Grandeur. As part of this collection, in the atrium, you can see a staggering 40 foot tall hand woven tapestry, which is called the Enchanted Tree. Down on deck four, behind the dramatic staircase, you'll find some of the shops, or should we say boutiques? The casino, plus the grandeur lounge where you can enjoy a pre-dinner drink before heading into Compass Rose. The casino is also located here, and as you can see, they have a range of slot machines around the perimeter of the room, with a gaming table set up in the middle. This is also where you'll find the entrance to the fabulous Compass Rose restaurant, which is the main dining room. Compass Rose is a staple which you will find throughout the Regent fleet, but on grandeur, Compass Rose has been made spectacular by a glowing canopy of lights that reach up from the floor to branch over the entire ceiling. On our last day on board this preview cruise, a gala brunch was served, which was simply divine. Compass Rose is open for dining for breakfast, lunch and dinner. As on all Regent ships, there are beautiful table settings, all with Versace chargers and tableware. Now let's take a wander along Deck 5, where you'll find Coffee Connections, a go-to place for a coffee, a cookie, or even a light lunch. Opposite Coffee Connections is the Meridian Lounge, which is a large space with a bar and a great spot for nightly live music. Plus, it's the place for afternoon tea. Beyond Coffee Connections is the main reception area with stunning artworks and the plinth ready for the pièce de résistance, which is a custom designed masterpiece called Journey in Jewels, which will be the first Fabergé egg to permanently reside at sea. Unfortunately, we were not privileged to see this on the preview cruise, but maybe next time. Further back on deck five, you'll find the delightful Pacific Rim restaurant with its exclusive custom-made bronze and glass bonsai cherry tree sculpture, which creates an iconic entrance to Pacific Rim the ship's Pan-Asian speciality restaurant. Here we are on deck five forward and the entrance to the upper level of the Constellation Theatre where we enjoyed some wonderful world-class entertainment on the short preview cruise. Also on deck five is the Serene Spa and Fitness Centre where you can get all kinds of beauty treatments in the fabulous facilities on board. This is a look at one of the treatment rooms they have and the staircase which leads up to the entrance to the extensive gym on deck six. The gym is split into two areas with the workout equipment on one side and a studio for group spin classes and other gym sessions on the other. Plus there's a full range of resistance training machines and free weights to help you shed those extra pounds. Now let's whiz up to deck 11 which is the pool deck but on the way we'll take a sneak peek at our suite on deck eight. Here you can see a first look at the stunning cabin corridors and then onwards to our suite 848 on deck 8 midships. We're making a separate in-depth video tour of our concierge grade suite 
and I'll put a link to this below. Here we are on pool deck 11, where you'll find there's a bar area and lots of lovely niches to enjoy some shade, plus plenty of lounges around the pool for the sun worshippers. A couple of hot tubs complete the setup on deck. Also on deck 11, you'll find the pool grill, which serves an amazing variety of foods for every taste and was a popular spot for lunch on our day in Dubrovnik. The food there was almost too good to eat. The paninis and burgers are well worth a try. Also on deck 11 is La Varanda, the most casual of the four restaurants on board. Like Compass Rose, La Varanda does not take reservations except for special dinners and is open seating which means you can arrive anytime and sit anywhere. La Varanda serves a bountiful buffet spread for breakfast and lunch. In the restaurant we found some new table arrangements looking out to sea, but we weren't quite sure about these. What do you think? If you enjoy our fresco dining, weather permitting, you can sit at a table on the open deck at the rear of the restaurant. Overall the buffet selections and the sheer range of choices is amazing, and some of the best we've seen at sea. Whilst in La Varanda, we bumped into maitre d' Georges Quiero, who is a maestro of dining and has been with Regent since 1997. At home in northern Portugal, he produces a world-leading olive oil called Esplendido Juro. Also on deck 11 is the Culinary Arts Kitchen, where you can learn how to prepare a variety of complex and richly flavoured foods reminiscent of the most prestigious cooking schools in France. Fully equipped individual cooking stations sit atop of three long curved rows of quartz countertops and stainless steel fittings, plus fabulous views out to sea. There's currently a nominal charge to sign up for the experience, but it's well worth it. Deck 11 also plays host to a cigar lounge called the Connoisseur Club, which has a fine selection of cigars and cognacs, plus those wonderful views out to sea. Now let's pop upstairs to deck 12, where you'll find the jogging track and sports area. Here there's a huge choice of games, including a paddleboard court and mini golf, which is great for those looking for some physical activity whilst on their cruise. There's also a shuffleboard, plus a driving range, which is good for golfers to work on their long and short games while they're on vacation. Deck 10 is the venue for the two speciality restaurants, Prime 7 and Chartreuse. As you enter Prime 7, there's a beautiful sculpture of a bull's head and inside the restaurant, a small bar. Prime 7 is a true classic American steakhouse where beef is the undisputed star and all its USDA prime beef is dry aged for at least 28 days. Our personal favorite? is the good old classic surf and turf, always cooked to perfection. Next door is Chartreuse, which is a French bistro offering a chic Parisian fine dining experience with a modern twist of classic French fare. On our first look at lunchtime on day one of our trip, Chartreuse was not quite finished with a handful of fitters busy working in the restaurant. By evening time, it was all finished and we were booked in. Once inside, you can dine at an intimate table for two, inside the regal dining room, or along the Parisian-inspired courtyard. We tried the Tornado Rossini, which is always absolutely divine. Chartreuse is our absolute favorite on Regent. So there you have our quick tour of the exceptional Regent Seven Seas grandeur. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to check us out for upcoming cruise videos and cabin tours. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.